It took just a few camera snaps and a camouflaged silhouette for the buzz to begin. The highly anticipated Tesla Model 2 was spotted driving around Giga Texas. What seemed like just another covered test car quickly became one of the most talked about topics in the automotive industry. That's because, unlike other models, this compact electric car promises something that still sounds almost surreal. A Tesla for under $11,000. Yes, with tax incentives still in effect, the suggested retail price is just $10,219. But there's a catch. This window of opportunity is about to close, and if you blink, you might miss it. The reason for the urgency goes by the curious name of Beautiful Bills, a legislative package that threatens to permanently eliminate the incentives that currently make this ultra-competitive price possible. Simply put, if approved, the $7,500 discount will disappear. This means that a car that currently costs less than a popular hatchback in Brazil and time is running out. These bills are expected to take effect as early as January 2026, leaving consumers with a difficult decision, risk waiting or rush to secure the benefit. As the clock ticks, the car continues its testing phase. Spy shots taken in broad daylight show a heavy prototype in camouflage, driving in and out of the Austin factory. Even with the disguise, it's easy to spot some striking features. The shorter front end, lowered profile, and redesigned headlights reveal that this is something new. And not just new, but clearly designed to be practical, urban, and efficient. The thoughtful design suggests a project entirely designed for those who need agility in their daily lives, without sacrificing the brand's visual identity. Compared to the Model 3, which is already considered compact by North American standards, the Model 2 is about 25% smaller. This places it in the urban hatchback category, a highly competitive segment, but lacking truly electric and affordable options. The car is estimated to be around 165 inches long, making it ideal for tight parking spaces and heavy traffic. This size reduction comes with a smart engineering strategy. Tesla invested heavily in weight reduction to ensure performance without increasing the project's cost. The secret to keeping everything lighter lies in the GigaCast structure, which replaces dozens of welded parts with large cast aluminum blocks. This technique, in addition to simplifying assembly, also reduces costs and increases chassis rigidity. With fewer moving parts and traditional components, such as differentials and conventional mechanical systems, the Model 2 is about 700 pounds lighter than the Model 3, weighing in at around 1,450. For an electric car, this is practically an Olympic feat, as batteries typically significantly increase overall weight. This lightweight gain isn't just a pretty number on the spec sheet. It directly influences range, acceleration, handling, and even tire wear. Furthermore, opting for a simpler structure also makes maintenance easier and the car cheaper to repair, a key factor for those looking for an entry-level electric vehicle. Lightness is also a plus in urban areas, where quick starts from traffic lights, tight turns, and constant braking require an agile and predictable car. Interestingly, this lightness may also be the link between the car and its tax strategy. With a lighter, cheaper-to-produce car, Tesla manages to keep the base price below the thresholds required for current tax credits. This shows that every engineering choice also has an economic motivation behind it. It's not just design for design's sake. Every screw, every weight cut, every structural decision was designed to ensure the car met the incentive criteria before the law changed. The Model 2, right now, is more than just in testing. It's part of a race against time, against bureaucracy, and against the market itself. The promise of an affordable Tesla is alive, but threatened. Anyone who wants to be part of this story needs to understand that time is not on their side. While testing progresses in Texas, behind the political scenes in Washington, something quite different is being prepared. The silent dismantling of the incentive that made this car possible. What strikes you at first glance about the Model 2 is its attention to detail. 
Even under camouflage, the new wheel shape stands out, clearly designed to reduce rolling resistance. These aerodynamic wheels aren't just a cosmetic touch. They play a key role in achieving the promised range. Every curve, every smoothed edge, every cut in the airflow was designed to transform friction into efficiency. Everything is functional. Everything has a purpose. To go further while using less energy. The car's front end also reflects this logic. It's short, tapered, and visually lean. This new shape has a very clear purpose, to cut through the air like a blade. In a city vehicle, where small aerodynamic differences can mean dozens of extra miles per charge, this kind of detail is golden. And at the rear, a nearly vertical window completes the ensemble with a curious effect. It helps the air exit the body smoothly reducing the turbulence that often consumes energy in conventional models. It's as if the car is asking permission from the wind instead of fighting it. But what truly separates the Model 2 from most urban electric vehicles isn't visible to the eye. It's under the floor. The new 4680 structural battery, version 2.0, is the heart of this design. And it's no ordinary battery. It uses LFP, lithium iron phosphate, chemistry, Known for its safety, longevity, and, most importantly, its affordability. The version used here has between 57 and 60 kHz, a sufficient capacity to provide range without compromising cost. What's more, the structural battery design means the battery itself is part of the chassis, increasing rigidity and saving space and weight. Thanks to this architecture, the Model 2 doesn't rely on fancy solutions to deliver good numbers. Preliminary tests indicate an estimated range of 350 miles, or about 560 kilometers. This puts the car ahead of direct competitors like the Chevy Bolt EUV, which doesn't exceed 450 kilometers. And we're talking about a car that costs much less and takes up less space. For an entry-level model, this range is impressive. And even more impressive when you factor in the lighter weight and reduced aerodynamic drag. Everything about the Model 2 seems to be pulling in the same direction. And what about performance? Well, while it's not a car designed for racing, the numbers don't disappoint either. Acceleration from 0 to 100 km h 62 ampere h should occur in around 6.9 seconds. That's practically what a BMW X1 or a Mazda CX-5 delivers only with zero emissions and virtually no maintenance. For urban and highway use, it's more than sufficient. Furthermore, the top speed of 177 fan ensures it won't shy away from even the most demanding roads in the US or Europe. Another significant advantage is charging. The Model 2 will be compatible with the new Anax charging standard adopted by several automakers and promoted by Tesla itself. With support for the V4 supercharger, it will be possible to charge from 10 to 80% in less than 25 minutes. For an affordable car, this kind of convenience is extremely rare. This changes the way we think about urban mobility. You can charge your car while grabbing a coffee or doing a quick grocery run. The combination of aerodynamic design, structural lightness, and an efficient battery forms a powerful tripod. And the curious thing is that none of these elements were exaggerated or overestimated. Tesla seems to have found a difficult balance. Low cost, respectable performance, and realistic range. It's as if they've stripped away everything superfluous, but without making the car feel cheap. Lurie, the result is a compact electric car that doesn't feel like a compromise, but like a smart choice, the kind of car that doesn't need to justify its value because it proves itself. While testing at Giga Texas continues apace, Tesla has already outlined a clear timeline for transforming the Model 2 from a promising prototype into a road-going product. During its Q1 2025 five earnings call, Elon Musk confirmed that the company still plans to begin launches by the end of the year. But before any deliveries can take place, a series of critical milestones must be overcome, all of which are unfolding in real time, with watchful eyes of the market following every development.
The second quarter of 2025 will be crucial. During this period, Tesla plans to complete validation testing of the new 4680 battery, particularly its performance under extreme conditions. Cold weather evaluations and rigorous safety tests in both the United States and Europe are essential to ensure the required certifications. Nothing can go wrong. Tesla knows that any slip-up at this stage could delay the entire project. And because this is a car aimed at the general public, the margin for error is even smaller than with premium models. The third quarter will mark the start of pre-production. It's estimated that between 10,000 and 20,000 units will be assembled at Giga Texas in this initial phase. The idea here isn't just to get cars on the road, but also to validate all the systems that will be behind the large-scale assembly line. Robots, software, sensors, and artificial intelligence will need to operate with surgical precision. This initial batch will be used to correct any flaws, calibrate quality standards, and ensure that mass production is smooth and reliable. The schedule predicts that reservations for the general public will open in the fourth quarter of 2025, but not everyone will have immediate access. Tesla is expected to prioritize customers already integrated into its ecosystem, such as Solar Roof users or Starlink subscribers. It's a strategy that rewards loyalty and encourages cross-use of its products. Those already in the brand's universe will have a better chance of getting their hands on this electric car before everyone else. For others, the wait may be a little longer. Once the adjustments are made and production is validated, Tesla aims to begin large-scale manufacturing in the first quarter of 2026. The plan is ambitious, deliver between 300,000 and 500,000 units in the first full year. To achieve this, the automaker is fine-tuning every logistical detail, from supplies to transportation. Demand, by all indications, will be massive, and the challenge will be meeting everyone's needs without compromising quality, something that, in the past, has been a headache for the company during the launches of the Model 3 and Model Y. The launch will be global, but with priority given to strategic markets. The United States, Canada, and key European countries are at the forefront. The choice isn't random. These are regions where tax incentives are still in effect, at least for now, and where the charging infrastructure is more mature. This means that, even though it's an affordable car, the Model 2 will arrive in places where consumers can truly enjoy it without technical or bureaucratic limitations. Another notable point is the planned production scaling based on demand and market response. Tesla doesn't intend to commit all its chips to the market at once. The idea is to monitor the behavior of early buyers, analyze feedback, and only then expand deliveries to new regions and consumer profiles. This flexible approach allows for course corrections without compromising the launch, something the company learned the hard way in previous launches. The transition from pre-production to mass production will likely be the most delicate stage. This is when hidden flaws emerge, automated systems are put under real pressure, and the model's reputation begins to take shape. The Model 2, a game-changer in Tesla's lineup, cannot afford to fail in this transition. It's more than a product. It's a public promise that affordable, quality electric vehicles are not only possible, but ready to become a reality within months. The shift Tesla is preparing isn't just in the car itself, but in how it will be manufactured. The Model 2 isn't just another electric car. It's the first vehicle to be produced entirely using the new process known as unboxing. Seating, this methodology represents a complete departure from the traditional assembly system used by almost the entire automotive industry. Instead of dragging a chassis along a linear production line, where parts are added sequentially, the Model 2 will be built using independent modules that come together only at the end of the line. This changes everything, from assembly efficiency to factory layout. The concept is relatively simple, but its execution requires a gigantic technological leap. Tesla has divided the car into four large blocks, the front, the rear, the cabin, and the battery pack. 
Each of these parts is built in parallel, in its own stations, with robots dedicated to each function. When all the modules are ready, they are assembled in sync like a meticulously adjusted jigsaw puzzle. This approach reduces the assembly line length by more than 40% and allows multiple cars to be assembled simultaneously at different stages. The time savings are impressive. While a traditional factory can take up to 30 hours to assemble a combustion engine car, Tesla's goal is to do it in less than 10 hours. Even its current models, such as the Model 3 and Model Y, still require between 12 and 14 hours per unit. With the new system, that time is cut in half. This not only improves yield, but also drastically reduces energy consumption and operating costs. Crucial elements in keeping the Model 2's final price below its competitors. But it's not just speed. Precision is another differentiator. The entire process is monitored in real time by artificial intelligence. Cameras and sensors inspect every weld, every fitting, and every alignment before the car advances to the next stage. These systems can detect variations of fractions of a millimeter, correcting flaws before they even become visible to the human eye. The result is a much lower error rate and much more rigorous quality control than the industry average. This AI system isn't purchased from a third party. It's developed internally by Tesla itself, allowing for weekly software updates across the entire production line. While other automakers have to call in technicians to manually reprogram robots, Tesla does it remotely with a click. This allows for constant improvements, such as real-time adjustments to paint patterns, weld thickness, or the pressure of each fastener. The assembly line adapts as it learns, almost like a living organism. Another key component is the 9,000-ton Gigapress, which fuses large body sections into a single piece of aluminum. Each press cycle takes less than 90 seconds and eliminates the need for hundreds of bolts and welds. This reduces the number of inspections and assembly time and results in a more rigid and safer car. The integrally molded structure is also lighter, more impact resistant and less prone to noise and vibration, enhancing the feeling of quality even in an entry-level car. All of this has a clear objective, to scale Model 2 production to unprecedented levels. The goal is bold, to reach 2 million units per year by 2027. And this kind of scale is only possible with an assembly line that's radically more efficient than the current one. Tesla is betting that by cutting time, complexity, and cost, it can serve a new segment of consumers, people who previously would never have imagined driving a Tesla. This completely changes the game and forces the entire industry to reposition itself. The most fascinating thing about all this is that this revolution isn't happening in the spotlight, but behind the scenes. Most people see the Model 2 as just a cheap car. What they may not realize is that it's the culmination of a quiet industrial revolution, one that's rewriting the rules of how cars are made. And if it works as Tesla hopes, it won't just be the Model 2 that will change the world, it will change the way the world builds cars. With an all-new model about to debut, Tesla knows it can't rely on a single factory to meet global demand. Therefore, the machinery being assembled behind the scenes involves a network of interconnected gigafactories.